see your Junior Ranger badge. Did you get it? All oh, right. It's 4.30 in the morning. We're getting in the car and we're headed where? Mississippi. Where? Mississippi. Are you cold? Merritt, where are we going? Mississippi. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> First step of the day. I guess I better go too. My little light is so bright, it's driving Craig crazy. <laughs> so cute though, y'all. Oh my goodness. They all just went over there to that vending machine. Who knows what they'll come back with. <laughs> this one really comes alive on a road trip. I finally decided to get ready and put some makeup on and I'm trying this perfume today. It's the Yves Saint Laurent Mon Parrot. Mon Paris. Mon Paris. I, it's good. I like it. It's fruity and kind of fresh. Fun. I like that. Um, let's see what else. It is sunny and gross. I gotta do something with my hair yet. Um, I just have my little um, Christmas lights are my favorite color shirt on. It's not doing very good I washed it and I was going to put it in my suitcase last night and it was like peeling up so I re uh, heat pressed it to try to get it to work but anyway they want to show y'all they have a little it's not gross. what's gross oh it's not sunny for them because they put their blankets up and made a little koi said I feel like we're in a limo <laughs> so they're doing that um, I'm gonna do something with my hair Yes, they have all their lovies. They had to take everything they owned. You know how it is. Um, anyway, it's 8.30. Are we in Missouri? In Missouri. We're supposed to be at the Pea Ridge Military Park at 1. And for some reason, I was thinking it was like four hours home from there, but it's 7. So, yay. We just stopped at this gas station. McCoy says, I need some caffeine. <laughs> You're right. Y'all, I'm in love with this. And I wish I would have shown you before I packed it all, but oh yeah, there it is. Look how pretty that is. Let me see. The inside and the bottom is the same way, and it's got all this crazy design. Oh, I am just loving it. And the best part is, is I can um, put everything in it and, you know, never fill it up. I love it so much. All right, we're fixing to run in to this, uh, what is this? A Flying J with a, Den ooh, a Denny's, a Flying J and get us a treat. Mama needs a Diet Mountain Dew because she's tired. Well, do we remember the big thing of pop that McCoy had just got spilt all in the bag with all the computers, the pads, the lovies, and the books. So I'm gonna go try to clean the, he's fine, Merritt. If this is all, the, these were the worst. All the computers and the electronics were fine. I'm gonna take these into the gas station and try to get them cleaned up. All right, we got them all cleaned up. They're just a little wet, but they're gonna dry. <laughs> He's fine, everybody's fine. Oh my goodness, let's go get a diet Dr. Pepper. I mean Mountain Dew. I need more caffeine. Okay, first fiasco of the trip is okay. Just the very little top of this book is a little bit wet, so I'm gonna dry it out. We've got lovies. I don't know if y'all can see that up here in the window drying out. Um, I got some go-go juice. What did y'all get? Koisy got a little minion. Merritt, what'd you get? Fruit punch. Fruit punch. Uh, Merritt got a little Batman. Let me see your Batman, Merritt. I need to put my seatbelt on. And Craig got a water like the size of a small child that he made me carry around. Ooh, these are sticky. Okay, um, what'd you get, Mayor? You got Batman, cute. Okay, we are headed to Pea Ridge now. Let's hope we get there without another spill. If you notice, we got drinks with tops on them this time. <laughs> Mayor, where are we? Is there a million people in here? It's so busy. What'd you get? Merritt, you look like you have a red mustache. <laughs> Chicken strips. Y'all know I got the black and strips. Can't wait. All right, we just left Craig in the Popeyes to get the food because it was, I mean, there had to have been like 30 people in there. People in Missouri like their Popeyes, y'all. <laughs> 13. 
so many people anyway um i got my blackened i say that already my blackened strips and they just got regular strips so he's gonna bring us that and then we are headed to pea ridge finally yum i can't have that i don't know it might fall craig got popcorn chicken i asked for a five piece and he had three lame <laughs> to get out so we could take a picture by this sign and one of them is at this sign go to the other sign Merritt because it's too bright over here and Coy's over here at this one good news is we made it <laughs> they found a cannon what does it say Merritt is it a real one cool What do you see? Oh, cool. What does it say, Merritt? I'm gonna fix my camera light here. Look, yeah, baby. This is the blue team, yeah. <laughs> cool. Did y'all see this? What is this supposed to be? Oh, look, the farmsteads to the battlefields. What does this say? Mom, Mom, this is where they put injured people. Oh, I think you're right, Merritt. What does it say? I think that is what it is. Oh, and look at all the artifacts over here. Cool. You found some yeah. more stuff? I found your favorite thing. A blacksmith. A blacksmith. Merritt's favorite blacksmith. Ooh, what do all these say, Koi? Come lift these up. Yeah, you can light it up. Ooh, look. Oh, look, Mary. here's the buckle. Oh! Confederate States. And a sword. Merritt, did you see the sword? Oh, and all the guns. Did you see all the guns? What's in there, Koi? Oh, good job, Merritt. Yeah. What's in there, Koi? Lift, put it down. Let me see what it says. What did soldiers carry into battle? That's what they carried with them. Oh, Merritt. Look at this. Wow. This is a nice little museum, boys. Oh, look at the things they wore on their shoulders. So fancy. What are these called? Epaulette? Somebody tell me how to say that. <laughs> cool. They're supposed to see if they can lift this big old heavy rifle did you do it it was heavy for me to do <laughs> i got all of our books stamped cool i never fixed my hair yikes anyway we're here in the little uh theater place and we're gonna watch the movie and then we have to do like the little driving tour and then the boys can get their junior ranger books they're out here on this beautiful day working on their junior ranger books then we're gonna go get their badges and do the little tour See your junior ranger badge did you get it all right we, horse. we didn't bring our horses though let me see koi i didn't know if you guys were in a hurry that's why I didn't we kind of you. are yeah uh, all right y'all know i got a magnet and an ornament it was so nice the way it was sounding online it was like a little bitty tiny museum and not much to it but the museum was i'm so dark Koi's tired was so the museum was so nice i loved it and um they got little uh wait honey um yes. you want to unroll it it's a map of all the civil war battlefields and of course they got their junior ranger books done and they got their That's badges easy. um we are gonna there's like a driving tour now to go around and like look at the battlefield and see the cannons yes. and stuff yeah don't prepare it number 43 is that where whoopi lives yeah so we're gonna go look at that and see what there is to see. All right, so this is the Lee Town Battlefield. With all the cannons. 
So basically you just ride around and see where all the battles took place. Cool. So we found the Elkhorn Tavern. What's Go ahead, pull ahead a little bit. It was like an inn that people would stay at and that's where they really lost the battle actually. Where the Confederates lost the battle, that place back there. Okay, so Pea Ridge, we're in Arkansas, did I even tell you that? Um, so it's a national park system Major. place, so they got their junior rat, junior ranger badges, which we always search for those kind of places because they love to come. But it is um, Pea Ridge National Military Park. What's that, Merritt? Oh, that was a battlefield. This whole thing, we're just driving through the battlefield now. So it is where, let me see if I can get this right. Um, so we're right on the edge, no light, of Missouri. And so they were fighting the confet. Oh, there's some deer. Let me show you. It's gonna be too bright. Where are they? Oh, there they are out there. Cause y'all have never seen deer before, but here is some. <laughs> so the Confederates were fighting, obviously to keep Missouri and the Union were fighting to, to have Missouri. And so anyway, this was the big battle and the Confederacy lost and so they got Missouri and it was like a pivotal point in the war um, and helped the Union win the Civil War. So it was really neat and they had like this great movie that told all about it and I think I told you how good the museum Why and everything was. Good. For, I thought it was good anyway. Oh, there's another cannon back there. So that is why um, well, we're here to see it. And it was fun, I liked it, totally recommend. We've come to that part in the trip where I gotta break something out. So I got Women's Day, HGTV, and Better Homes and Gardens. H HGTV. I have eaten so much Russell Stover's candy and those bars that I like and keto cookies. I need to stop. <laughs> I just get so bored when we travel. Anyway, I'm gonna read some magazines now and try to stay awake. Look, y'all, it's like my table full of little bottle brush trees. So fun. I love the colors, too. This is in that Women's Day magazine I picked up from um, Walmart. Okay, I have to show Koi. Okay, it's dark, but I'm bored. We're not going to get there till like midnight. Did I tell you all that already? I think I did. Repeatedly. The boys are sleeping. I thought that we would have a little story time and I would tell y'all how we met. Who wants to hear the story? Okay, so I didn't wear any earrings today. Too much for travel. Um, I went to college and got my bachelor's and my master's and I interned for like a livestock industry thing then too. And so I got a job in the same industry out in Montana right after grad school. And I was out there, I can't remember how long I was out there. Three years or four years? Four? Anyway, a while. And so, Craig had come out there. There was a big, like, cattle convention, a livestock expo deal. And so, we had to go with our company, basically, and set up a booth. Was that on the whole time? I hope I don't get copyrighted for that. Um, and set up a booth and all that. Anyway, we met... Um, a guy, so there was a, a, a couple of other girls that worked with me. And so we met this guy, and he was so nice or whatever, and da 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 da. And so then that night, he had his friends with him, which was Craig. And so he introduced us, and I just thought he was so nice. <laughs> anyway, and then I found out he was from Iowa, and I was like, womp womp. I lived in Montana, like, whatever. And so, um,. Did I give you my number? Did we exchange numbers that night? I put, he put, he put his, I put my number in your phone or something. I don't remember. Back when that's the thing you did, like you got their phone and you put your number in it. Anyway, so, um, the next day or that night, maybe you were like, I want to take you out for lunch. And so the next day he called or whatever. And I had something, something to do for work. And so I saw him for a little bit. And then did we go out to dinner that night? So. We went to the rodeo. We, we had to go to the rodeo because our company was like giving away a truck. And so we had a booth at the rodeo too. And so, is this getting too long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, so we were at our booth up in like the loft area at the rodeo. And he was like actually watching the rodeo. And he came up uh, to talk to me. And I was like, oh, he's coming to talk to me to, to my girlfriends. And then he was like, 
Ugh, I was so sick of sitting in those chairs down there. I had to come up and walk around and I was like, womp womp, you weren't coming to talk to me. <laughs> anyway, he really was coming to talk to me, obviously. So then the next night we went out to dinner and then we went to the next day, we went to um, like sightseeing, like touristy stuff to the, uh, it's called the, it's called Three Forks, the headwaters of the Missouri River. And it's like a fun place where like the Missouri River starts, the three rivers that, the conf, not the confluence, but where the rivers come together and make the Missouri River. So we went and saw that. And then the rest is history. Like he just called me every day after that. What an angel. And then I came out. I was kind of hard up. Rough time in my life. You were such a butt. <laughs> you loved me. You loved me. Anyway, I just fell head over heels and I called him to all my girlfriends. We all called him Corn Fed because he was from Iowa. Anyway, and I don't know if y'all know this, but Craig is like crazy tall. Like, he's real tall. Um, so I went out to me and my other girlfriend who she, he, she was dating his friend. Who consequently ended up day ended up marrying another one of my friends, but not the same girl. So we came <laughs> we came out to Montana for a wedding that Craig was the best man in. South Dakota. Right. I came to Iowa, but the wedding was in Murdering South Dakota. This deal. I know. I'm not a good storyteller today. I'm tired. Anyway, we came out for the wedding, and I was like his wedding date or whatever. Then I went back, and then he came out to Montana again that winter, like January or February. And then um, I came back out, flew back out to Iowa for Easter, or Valentine's maybe it was. And then came back out for Easter. And then I got a, I was like kind of starting to look for jobs in Iowa and I got a job doing um, graphic design, like um, in the livestock industry as well, like sell catalogs and um, ads for ranchers. And I was, I was doing um, a big Texas, livestock publication anyway um so i got the job and i moved in june to iowa and we got engaged in august so it was like quick and now we've been married 10 years so that is the story now you know how this mississippi girl ended up in small town iowa and it's getting really dark so i think i'm gonna have to let y'all go here I, there's really nothing else to show <laughs> like when we get there my daddy will probably be asleep and we'll have to wake him up and the boys will be crazy and it'll just be insane and then um we'll eat somewhere tonight obviously it is getting real dark y'all it just got dark so fast we'll eat somewhere along the way but it's not and if anything interesting happens i will stick it in the video but i think this is probably gonna be about it so tomorrow craig and i i need to go return that ugly not ugly it's super cute cactus sweater that was so big um back to cavenders and then we're gonna go to dirt Chain and to the outlets because Merritt Gross. and McCoy both need Craig hates dirt cheap um Merritt and McCoy both need new shoes so I'm gonna go to like the Under Armour outlet and try to find them some shoes so we'll do all that tomorrow I'm probably not gonna vlog but I hope that you're following me on Instagram I'll link it here because I'll story you know I always story so anyway thanks so much for following us along today for our fun little road trip to Mississippi uh subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing because lots more fun stuff is coming see y'all in the next one <laughs> bye y'all